Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor. I'm bringing you another live commentary today. I did a live commentary a while ago. It went over pretty well. It was fun to make. So I'm going to do another live commentary here today. Uh, so the gameplay is live. You probably won't get as many tips and tricks as I normally give. I'm just going to be kind of talking you through the gameplay as I play it. Because I feel like when I do that, uh, you're able to kind of get in my head and figure out what I'm doing and why. And you know, maybe get an idea of how you want to approach the game, you know, when you're actually playing. So we'll see how it goes. It was a lot of fun last time. I had some fun and uh, looks like we're going to get exile this time around. So you always want to go for the power vehicles. Uh, blue side is way better because they get the gauss hog and we're going to get stuck on the red side. So you're going to have to fight for the tank. Uh, I'm going to load out with my operator wheelman loadout and see if I can rush for that tank. The trouble is, even if you can get to the tank, uh, you know, usually there's just so many people over there, it's so crowded, a lot of times it gets blown up right away, but it's better for you to get blown up in the tank than for your opponents to get control of it and score like 25 points and, you know, control the game. Now, I'll show you the quickest way to get over to the tank is always to grab the mongoose. Uh, it works every single time and not very many people go for it. So we'll see if I can do that right here. Just grab my wheelman loadout and go straight for the mongoose. Most people just try rushing straight for the tank, but the mongoose is much better. Get you there faster than rushing. And we'll see if I get it. So yes, I do. But as I predicted, lots of people here. It's very crowded. And so we'll see if I can get out of here alive. Uh, fortunately, I've got a lot of team support here this time. I don't want to go rushing right out there because if... Uh, Ah, uh, dang it. I'm trying to... The Gauss. There we go. Gauss is down. Nope, it's not down. I was mistaken. Now it's down. Okay, so Gauss is down. That's great. Okay, so Gauss is down. That's fantastic news. I have the wheelman modification here, so uh, my tank is much more durable than it normally would be. Uh, now I just gotta worry about that Banshee. It looks like the driver's actually pretty good. Okay. I have a ton of team support here, which is fantastic. Uh, I would love to get out of here, I really would, but it feels like uh, I'm, I'm kind of trapped. So here we go, we're just going to make a run for it, see if we can get out here and, and influence the game. Oh god. Yeah, that didn't go over very well. Okay, well, so we, we're up 160 to 60, that's not bad. Oh, I'm not even dead. Oh, I was like waiting to respawn and I didn't realize I didn't even die. Okay, uh, so grab my... Ordinance. I, I, from now on, I just grab the ordinance as soon as I get it. Uh, I don't care what else I have. I just want to start accruing a new ordinance as soon as possible. Uh, sticky grenade launcher is a pretty good weapon. I really do like it for the most part. It's very powerful as long as you get the hang of it. Yep, right there's frenzy. Okay, so not bad start here. Uh, double kill. Okay. So, like I said, this grenade launcher can be pretty heinous. Oh, I knew that guy was sitting back there trying to hide in his uh, his regen sh field, but he couldn't hide from me. Okay, looks like there's a lot of guys. Oh, man, back at our spawn point. Okay, so got a frenzy to start the game off with. Not too bad. Um, what's the score here? Okay, we're really kicking some butt, so that's good. Now we got to start thinking about the weapons, re the power vehicles respawning. The uh, Gauss Hog, I haven't timed it yet. But I know the Gauss Hog's probably going to be coming up in about a minute and a half because we killed it pretty quickly. And so I want to make sure that we have a chance of that Gauss Hog when it comes back up. Looks like I got sniped from the B base. Oh, God. Okay, I thought I was going to get splattered. So B base is a problem here. Holy cow, there's tons of guys up there. All right, well, I don't want to go rushing in there and just get myself killed for no good reason. Okay, I'm able to hang back and get an easy kill there. I really want to get over to that Gauss Hog, though. That's my priority. I want us to gain control of the Gauss Hog next time it comes up. Oh, barely missed out to that guy. I keep spawning clear over here. I'm not getting anywhere near the Gauss Hog, and I guarantee you it's going to come up any second if it hasn't come up already. I really want to get over there. I've been having a lot of trouble doing so. And there's still more guys up here. 
This guy doesn't see me coming, so I get the first shot at him. Yeah. Oh, there goes the gas hog a bit. Yep, there it is. Shoot, we missed it. Okay, well, this isn't a bad spot. You can actually get a lot of a pretty good vantage point from here. And I still have my wheelman loadout. And if the Banshee spawns anytime soon, which it very well might, I can grab that. I'm not crazy about the Banshee, but when you have the wheelman loadout, uh, it can be pretty powerful. So I'm just going to kind of sit back here, pick my shots. If I'm lucky, the Gauss will drive right under me. Uh, looks like maybe somebody blew up the Gauss, so that's good news. Still got some guys in B base giving us trouble. Banshee, Banshee should be up any minute. Once it is, I can steal that. Not, not getting many clear shots here. Okay, looking for just looking for some shots, basically. I'm not, I'm not getting many. Okay, get a few headshots on this guy. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, finish him off. That's good. Uh, what's this warthog beneath us? Okay, it's dead, whatever it was. All right. Uh, Banshee really should be up by now. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Let's see if I can get out of there. Uh, looks like somebody tried to stick me or something. I'm not sure exactly. Okay, so always switch to the bombs here. And uh, again, just try not to spend too much time on the opponent's side of the map because you're just going to get shot to pieces, and that's never good, obviously. So I've got the Banshee. I'm just going to wait for my shields to come back up and then kind of make a round, and I just kind of go for one kill at a time. If I can get, get around here, pick up one kill, then that's a success. And that wasn't a success because I didn't get any kills, but I'm just going to keep swinging around. So just uh, keep swinging with the Banshee here. Uh, if I can get one kill and turn around, then I'm going to be happy. Uh, it's kind of getting shot to pieces here, but that wheel man really is helping me out. You can see that my, my Banshee's uh, very much more fortified than it otherwise would have been. I mean, typically a few shots would take me down completely. All right, well, that's down, um, but the tank should be back up. Yes, here it is. Oh, somebody's got it already. Okay, well, no problem. I got some nice ordnance here. Look at this. I've got rockets and a saw. Uh, all right, we'll take rockets. That's the no-brainer one-shot kill here. And they've been camping this B base like crazy, so let's see if they keep pushing up here. If they do, I can get some easy kills. All right. Couple guys up here. Let's see if I get lucky. Nope, didn't get lucky. Thought I might. All right. So, oh, I don't have my ammo loadout right now, which is too bad. I thought I'd have more rockets than I do. All right, there's an easy kill. Thank you. There's another easy one. Oh no, missed. Come get me. All right, we traded. Okay, so this is going okay so far. I've got some decent weapons. I should have changed my loadout though, because now I've got the wheel man and I don't really want it because I don't have any vehicles. Let's see, the um, the Gauss should be coming up pretty soon again because I think that we destroyed it. I mean, when I saw them with the Gauss, that was a long time ago and it doesn't seem like they actually did much of anything with it. This was stupid. I should never have gone out that far. That was just dumb. I was just plain dumb. Uh, I don't see the Gauss, but I guarantee you the Gauss is coming up soon. So I'm going to keep pushing that direction and see if maybe we can try to get lucky with the Gauss Hog and just steal it from under their noses. Because it really ought to be coming up just about any minute. Let's see if I can headshot this guy. Okay, that's good. Another guy right around the corner here. That's a double. That's good. Oh, five kills to win. I'm not going to get a chance to steal the gas. I'll just hang out here. Get a few headshots. Long range headshots. That's fine. And uh, should just wrap about wrap up the game here. And once the game's over, I'll check out the score and see how well I did. You know, because a lot of times if you're playing a game, you feel like you're doing really well. Then you go back and watch the score and you're like, oh, I died a lot more than I thought I did. Or sometimes you're like, man, that was a tough game. But you go see this box score and wasn't quite as bad as you thought so we'll go check it out we did win the game by a pretty heavy uh pretty strong margin thousand kills to 63 deaths oh i was a leading scorer 23 kills not too bad 
I got a frenzy at the beginning of the game, uh, partially in the tank, and then I survived. When the tank blew up, I survived. It must have been just blown up by a teammate or something. So let's see what the score is here. All right, well, let me just back out of the game so I don't get locked into another one. Uh, 23 kills, 6 deaths. Okay, so that's good. And uh, like I said, I was just trying to give you guys a typical game for me rather than like my best game. And that's that's honestly, that's pretty typical. 23 and 6, that's not bad. Uh, 9 in the Scorpion. So, you know, 9 in the Scorpion, that means I had 14 kills outside the Scorpion. So it wasn't just all tank ownage all the time. Let's see what else I had maybe. Um, let's see, some generic kills, uh, that's no fun, four doubles, not bad, a couple rocket kills, killing frenzy, destroyed some vehicles, one triple, um, a head case, avenger assist, wheelman, okay, so not bad overall, solid gameplay, I hope you guys uh, maybe picked up a couple ideas along the way, enjoyed the commentary, if you like the live commentary, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. This is the Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.